Yeah. Look at my lucky. Uh, the no monastery, sir. <laughs> In 1989, I saw Prince Charles's work in a magazine, and I thought if he would make some lithographs from these, and above all, if he would sign them, then we could raise a lot of money for his charities. He was very humble, very modest. You know, he was worried that nobody would buy them. His works are clearly about his love of nature, landscape, the peace that he has from being in a landscape. He loves to go and paint outside. He goes out with a very small uh, paint box, just on tiny pieces of art card. It's the immediacy of uh, working with watercolours. And if you get it wrong, which I'd suppose many of them go wrong, and then that moment can be gone. So he has to do it quickly. His work has raised many millions for his charity. We have sold hundreds of them. I think we started off charging a, uh, in the region of £1,700 or something like that. Uh, some of them have gone up enormously because they've sold out. Examples like Hong Kong from the Royal Yacht Britannia. We haven't put up our prices, but I think the interest in them has definitely increased. There has been um, a considerable number of inquiries in the last few months, and so I expect in time the value will be increasing very much. Of course, from a kind of collector's point of view, it's extremely attractive to you know, own a piece of art by the future king uh, of this country. And of course, it means that the value of them skyrockets. You know? And we see this with other world leaders who have dabbled in art, such as George Bush, that you know, there's a huge kind of uh, excitement about collecting these works, precisely because of the fact that it's done by someone. Financially, buying a watercolour by King Charles is a sure bet, you know. He's always going to be incredibly well known. He's always going to be, you know, a stately, important figure in this country. It's a kind of sure fire investment which is not going to change and can only really go up. From an art critic point of view, these kind of artworks are a penny a dozen, you know, you see them everywhere, um, but it's the man behind them, the man behind, you know, the newspaper stories or the scandals is perhaps the most interesting thing about them. You know, this is something that he does for himself, it's a passion project and they should be seen as that.